has been in my family for quite a while. It was originally a much longer piece, which was worn sort of as a hip belt. Um, it was much too large for me and sort of fell off. So uh, I divided it into parts and had a jeweler make this part into a necklace and another part into a bracelet. Um, I don't think that it's sterling silver and uh, the sparkles are not really gems. I think they're uh, cut into maybe marcasite or something. All right, now the interesting thing to me is that this is not the original way this piece was. You've got, these are buttons. Oh. And these were part of a necklace. So what somebody has done is taken a necklace from the 1840s, 50s, and some buttons from the same era, and at some time, and I'm thinking it's gotta be around the 20s, because this chain is new. Uh -huh. This chain is a chromium-plated chain. This is called a marriage. It's two various things, usually two different eras, coming together to make one piece. And if you look closely at it, you'll see there's really no holes here. Someone has used jump rings to attach just along the openings on the buttons, but there are official openings on these. These are called cut steel. Mm -hmm. Not marcasite. Marcasite is actually a gemstone. Oh. But cut steel is, is literally cut from steel and molded into little faceted tops, and they're studded into metal. And one clue that it's cut steel and not marcasites is when I tip it over, we're gonna see little rivets that hold it in. I'm gonna tip this button over and we can see a button shank that's been oh. bent down and that's brass. And then we see individual little rivets that hold those cut steels in. Now on the necklace piece, all we see are the rivets. We don't see any type of button shank in the middle. That's my clue that I know it was a necklace. Now, what do you think these might have been worth? I have no clue. <laughs> well, even today, this is scarce stuff. I don't see it. One reason I don't see so much of it, if it gets wet, it starts to rust, and we can't clean that rust off. It's ruined. On a retail level, the buttons themselves can be worth $300 each. <sighs> so what we're looking at here, just in value, you've got one, two, three, four, five buttons at approximately $300 each. That's $1,500, $1,500 retail value. And these little necklace medallions would be in the $100 to $150 each range. Oh, that's amazing. So in this piece here, you've got about $2,000 worth of cut steel pieces. Oh my goodness. 